So I am making this recording on my iMac G3 monitor running a Raspberry Pi 3. And I'm using a USB to uh, audio board, a USB audio board by Sabrin that has both a mic and audio out. And I'm using the mic that's built into the iMac G3. Uh, I wanted to test to see how this recording would come out. And also I wanted to show how to clone, compile, and use uh, Oshimai's GUI to adjust your monitor settings. So, first thing you need to do, um, if you go here to github.com, and I've cloned his version of it, and this is the version that currently works, uh, that I've tested. I've tested his version uh, as well, and um, I'm only one commit ahead of his. Uh, he's the upstream version, so if you ever want the latest one, uh, go to his um, his repo, which you can find easily. You know, if you just click here where it says it has a link to where I forked it from. So now, if you just want to clone this on your Raspberry Pi, make sure you have Git installed, and you should have Git installed if you're running Raspbian, I believe. But it's easy to install. Um, so copy this to your clipboard open up a terminal okay and I like to do things in downloads okay I'm going to paste what I just copied so now it is cloned let's enter the directory oops alright and now we'll do a list of what's in there and there are several directories, a readme, a license file, and a couple of other things. Now, he has instructions, or rather, you know, I have instructions that I copied from him. And since we're doing this on Raspbian, okay, uh, we should just need to follow these instructions. Now, I've already installed the model runtime and model develop. Don't need to do that. But we do need to sign it. Let's copy that. While it's doing that, let's um, let's copy the other line we need to copy, paste in there. Okay, and sometimes this takes a little bit, and there it's done. So now let's actually compile it using xbuild. Okay, it should be just about done. It takes a little long on the Raspberry Pi 3. It is a, you know, an ARM processor, $35 computer. What more can you ask for? I've uh, finally ordered a Raspberry Pi 4, which should be getting here in a couple of days. And I think that's what I'm finally going to use as my SBC for my build that hopefully I will complete in the next month or so. All right, this is taking a little longer than I expected. I kind of remember it going a little faster. Okay, there we go. We have five warnings and zero errors. We can ignore the warnings. That's not a problem. Um, you can go into this directory, and we can list the files that were created. And so the green one on the left, that's the actual executable. And it has a .exe on there because it was compiled uh, with mono, even though the .exe is meaningless under Linux. But to run it, you need to run it with mono. Okay, and here it is. I think the first time to run, it takes a little long. Okay, so 
what you do here is you select the USB port, or rather the serial port used to communicate with the Arduino, or in my case, the custom circuit board I made. If you're using an Arduino to do all this instead of the custom circuit board, um, this will show up as TTYACM0. In my case, it's USB0. Select the baud rate of 115200. I'm going to hit connect, and then you'll see the OK um, will ungray itself, meaning that it actually received the configuration from the board. Let's see, now it's ready. And I can control the brightness. You see that? Uh, control the contrast. Should get real dark in there now. And the colors. It should be getting crazy in this recording. Okay. I'll hit default so it looks normal again. And I can mess with the geometry now uh, because I'm recording the desktop. I don't know if this is going to show up, but trust me. Uh, as I press these buttons, the actual screen does change. So right now, my image is moving up. I don't know if it's moving up for you. Well, I guess I will know shortly when I see the video. You can go right. You can go left. Okay. I'll do some rotation here. Maybe I'll mess with the height and width. Make it a little smaller. All right, so I've changed it, and if these are the settings I would like to make permanent, I just click on Apply. I don't, so I'm going to hit Defaults and hit Apply. Well, it hit Apply automatically. And that's it. And this is how you would download, compile, and run the program. Hopefully in the future, there will be a nice icon, so you can just you know point and click, and you don't have to do this terminal stuff. Um, but now it's, it's very usable. And it's very nice, it's very convenient. Um, well, there are also test patterns that he has built in. So you can calibrate the screen. This is really nice, really useful. Okay. Let's see. And so if you need to calibrate your CRT, you can use these things to calibrate. And you get the picture. No pun intended. So very nice. It's very handy and very convenient. There are some advanced options that can be used here, but they're not currently activated. But you can activate them and use them. Well, I hope this was helpful.